can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. for you I'm okay thanks speaking. This is safe road school, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, my Lord. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks.
do I go? I need your help. Shit! We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. first.
okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Let's do this. Cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? What are you doing? to record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand the right to own private property, 
so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive and we demand our freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! What are you doing? Hurry! Sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. Oh, fuck. Let's go. Schedule programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the android's this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? That's going to have so many repercussions. She's gonna be pissed, but eh. I think my biggest issue is I play this game too much through the eyes of an empathetic and a human, and 
this game not- it doesn't punish you, but it can? I don't know. Hello, I like Connor. it. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? Fuck. We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Check the roof. Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. We found the body of an android on the rooftop. Not sure what happened. Maybe it got wounded. I mean, damaged. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. 
Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? Went through everything that happened. Whatever. If the FBI would take over the investigation, you'd soon be off the case. Yeah, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crap scene. I might have to fuck him up. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. I mean, know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let them in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. If you give yourself up, 
Maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Regulates the heartbeat. Without this module, you'll shut down in exactly 63 seconds. I could put it back, but you just have to tell me the truth. Are you the deviant? Shit. Shit. Come on, let's go. So I didn't even, like, touch everything. My bad. Looking for Rose? Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? We don't have a choice. Come in. 
what's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? can't stop because of me. You've got to get across the border. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep, and tomorrow you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. Apparently they like elephants. Mm -hmm. And those stats up. but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl?
Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly! We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Let them be. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison. Because you want to help these freaks! That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's 
been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Ooh, what is going through? There is widespread shock following the Android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's public screens. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. see why you're angry we don't want to cause any problems we just want to get across the border come on the police it's the police! What are we gonna do? They know we're here. We have to open the door. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide... upstairs. Come on, Alice. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. No androids here.
What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The android. He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam.